Let's try to keep it like one or two minutes. The right to vote is a cornerstone of our country's democracy. Ordinary men and women fought and even died to gain voting rights and to protect people's right to vote without intimidation or obstruction. Yet states across the country, including Florida, continue to pass restrictive voter ID and voter suppression laws. These attempts to reduce access to the polls and make these unnecessary requirements for voting should be seen as nothing less than an attack on our fundamental freedoms. Proponents of voter ID laws claim they are fighting voter fraud, but years of national research have proven voter impersonation to be an extremely rare, almost non-existent problem. The voter ID laws disenfranchise millions of voters to catch a handful of fraudulent votes. And it doesn't stop there. On May 19, 2011, Florida Governor Rick Scott signed Florida's House Bill 1355 into law. It is among the most restrictive in the nation. In the months since the Florida law took effect last July, 81,471 fewer Floridians have registered to vote during the same period before the 2008 election. New registrations have dropped sharply. In Orange County, they fell by more than 20%. Rock the vote. A national organization that encourages young people to vote began an effort last week to register high school students around the nation, but not in Florida, over fears that teachers could face fines. According to one estimate, nearly 34,000 additional Florida voters will now be required to cast provisional ballots due to this law. Voter suppression laws are part of a concerted effort to silence the voices of communities that historically have been left out of the voting process. Here to talk about the law's effects and restrictions is my friend and longtime president of the Central Florida A. Philip Randolph Institute is Phyllis Hancock. 